What's good, everybody? Lockout men back. How y'all feel? How y'all feel? I am just feeling juvial today. Just driving on my way down here to Georgia. Yes, sir. Down here to Georgia. But what I am about to talk about got me to thinking. Because I do a lot of that in the truck. The truck provides a lot of thinking in the truck, for real. Let's jump into it. Welcome back to the Lockout Man Podcast show. Thank you very much for listening. I really do appreciate it. Why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like button, and that thank you button to show support for the channel. Let's just get right into it. So I got an email from a subscriber, and he was telling me about the ups and downs that he was going through while with these trivial jobs that he has, right? He said, lockout, yo, I'm tired, man. I really am. I'm ready to make a change. I'm ready to do something different. I'm ready to see what the next chapter of my life could be. And he asked me, he says, yo, in your opinion, bro, why should I get a CDL? Like, why should I get a CDL, bro? Can you give me some pros and cons and your opinions on it? I said, yeah, cool. Let's do it. And I said, instead of typing back a long text word response, I thought I'd make an episode out of it. Because a lot of people are going through this same situation. Y'all may be working at a dead-end job. Y'all not sure what to do next. The money just not coming in. And y'all not sure... If the job is future proof, you can, can still get terminated anytime, anywhere, whatever, for whatever case. And sometimes the jobs could go out of business. The jobs could change formats, anything. And you just want to know, why would you get a CDL? What would a CDL do for you in the future? Let's talk about it. So... For me, back in the day, a lot of things happened to me, which solidified the fact of me getting my CDLs. Of course, of course, I got separated. That was a factor. My business was kind of up and down. That was another factor. And then with all those factors together, I figured that it was time for me to make a change. And I decided to get my CDL. Went, got my CDL, bam, boom. Rest is history. I was able to travel ag across the world, get my experience, and experience every other state that I've never been into. That was my reason. All right? Now, look, let me explain to you. Driving can be a rewarding career that offers an abundance of recession-proof job opportunities and the ability to see the world most part of the country. A lot of you guys haven't seen it. A lot of you guys only been in the states where you was born at. In particular, the city, unless you're one of the people that like to travel a lot. But for those people that haven't traveled a lot, y'all really haven't left the city, have you? For a moment there, I haven't left the city of Cleveland. I traveled. I've been to other states in other cities. But as a whole, it was just the city of Cleveland, pretty much. Getting your CDL, once you become a qualified driver, they're usually in short supply. Now, a lot of people will say, yo, there's a driver shortage, which is, which in my opinion is not. But considering the fact that drivers are in such short supply, it could mean the possibility of stability for you when you get your license. When you get your license and you keep them clean, you keep them crisp, you shouldn't have a problem holding, getting and holding on to a truck driving job. Okay? Just think of that. Okay? Now, here's the big thing. On the other hand, and this is what TikTokers and all these gurus is not telling you, okay? Trucking is a 
our job. Don't get it twisted. Lockout men, what do you mean it's a 20? Listen, bro, it's a 24-hour job, depending on what type of company you drive for. And if you drive for a company that, that, that likes to run, then your thing, here's your thing. I'm about to tell you what your thing with that with those particular companies. You're going to get to the shipper, get the load, get to the receiver, drop the load, and then after that, you're only going to have time to either find a place to park, you're going to find a place to shower, and then after that, you're going to go to sleep. Then you're going to wake up again to a new load that you got to go and pick up and then drop off and then do it all over again. Trucking is a 24-hour job, bro. You're gonna, if you're a regional driver, you're gonna work from Monday through Friday, 24 hours, okay? You got 11 hours to drive and 10 hours to sleep or 10 hours to rest. Let me rephrase that 10-hour thing. You got 10 hours that the truck can't move because of FMCSA regulation. The truck cannot move within a 10 hour period. Now, whatever you do within that 10 hours, that's on you. Technically, you're supposed to be getting some rest. A lot of people, they like to play games. They like to mess around. They probably like to catch an Uber, go sightseeing or whatever the case. But technically, they're supposed to be getting some rest, okay? Again, like I said before, trucking is a 24-hour job, though, bro. So think about that before you consider getting your CDL or coming into over-the-road regional trucking. Now, if you get your CDL to do local or anything like that, yes, not a problem. But think about this. Local. You're going to do some work, bro. Yes, you're going to do some work. You're going to do some work local. I'm just saying. You're going to, your back going to be hurting. Your body going to be hurting. Your knees going to be hurting. You're going to be doing some work local. So think about all the factors that you want to consider when you come in to this industry right here which is not a problem, it's still a good industry. You're gonna make some good money depending on who you go with. You're gonna, you're gonna have a job stability because you're gonna always have a job. Your driver's license, which is now your, CD, your CDL, is your livelihood, which means you're gonna have to protect it at all cost. Okay? Now, without your CDL, you won't be able to drive. I'm just saying, you won't be able to drive. Once you lose your CDL, you won't be able to drive. And then what's going to happen to you? I, you don't know? I don't know either. Because once you lose your CDL, you lose your ability to make that type of money. Everybody keeps saying, you can make six figures. You can make this. You can make that. Yeah, you won't be able to make it if you lose your CDLs for whatever reason, though. That's where saving comes into play. But that's a whole nother subject right there. Okay. Now, also, on the same other hand, also know, because this is what they're not telling you. All right. They're not telling you this, though. They're not telling you that trucking can be lonely, super lonely. They don't tell you that trucking can be stressful, very stressful. And what they don't tell you that it could be very hard on families. Blackout man, what do you mean? Hard on families. That's the point of me coming out here doing this. At first, you tell your family, hey, I'm about to get my about to get my CDL and I'm about to go ahead over the road. But it could be very stressful for your family because you're not there. You're gonna miss birthday parties. You're gonna miss that first walk. You're gonna miss anniversary. You're gonna cry to get to your anniversaries, but holidays, throw them out the window. Throw them out the window, okay? Holidays, pfft, done, nope. If you don't let your driver manager know prior to the holiday that you want to be off, 
Nine times out of ten, you're going to be driving it, bro. I'm just saying. That could be very hard on family. Could be hard on your wife because your wife probably might want you there. She probably feels some kind of way. Will probably get horny and she don't want to see you on FaceTime with the with the help of the with the help of the plastic help. She wants to feel you. She wants to she wants you to be there. She wants the D now. But you can't give it to her because you're in another state. <laughs> I'm just saying. It could be very stressful. Like I mean, stressful? Yes. With all this FMCSA rules, regulations, traffic, shippers, receivers, headaches, body aches, truck stop mishaps, trucker shenanigans, all that shit plays in a part of all stress for a truck driver. Not just, not just people in cars, but other truck drivers as well. There's no brotherhood here in trucking anymore you got truck drivers you got truck drivers making fun of other truck drivers that's not cool right that, no that's not cool at all but it is what it is and that's what other truck drivers do they like to sit there and make fun of one another they like to sit there and watch you struggle they like to sit there and just watch you, whatever the case. They don't want to get out. They don't want to help. They don't want to offer help. But yet they want to sit there, make a video, and send it in to Bonehead Truckers and just let the whole world make fun of you. It could also be lonely. Very lonely. Nobody, unless you're teaming, nobody's here in the truck with you. You here all by your lonesome. You hear with all your thoughts. That's it. That's it. Could be very lonely. Brother man need to get that, need to get that hookup. He probably might have to find somebody in the truck stop or something like that. And then, of course, somebody going to make a video of that and send it to Bonehead Truckers. And everybody's going to make fun of you all over the world. All because you wanted some companionship. I'm just saying, don't get me wrong. I got, I got my love back at the house, so I don't have to worry about all of that. But for these truck drivers that been out here over the road for like months on end and that, and that don't have a girlfriend or whatever the case, and they need that, they need that hookup, that special kind of hookup. And somebody come over to them like, yo, you want this, you want this commercial company? Of course they're going to take it. Of course, they're going to get their D wet if they haven't been wet in a long time. So that's nothing to, that's nothing to, that's nothing to complain about. I don't have a problem with it. Brother man want to get his freaky on, let him. But no, here you are making a recording and sending it over to the bonehead truckers on the website, on the, on, on, on the interwebs. And then everybody and their mama want to want want to talk about. Oh man, look at that dude with that lot lizard. Yada 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 yada. Y'all don't know that man. Y'all don't know how long this man been without the pee. I'm just look. I'm just saying it's lonely out here. <laughs> it really is. It's something that you guys should think about when y'all come out here. But in any case, despite the downside. And everything, getting your CDL can be a great investment in your future. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Am I right? Am I wrong? Let me know in the comments below. Let's get the conversation started, man. <laughs>